Couple takes their wheezing dog to the vet only to get an astonishing diagnosis. Many people think that when they welcome a dog into their family, it'll be all fun and games. But the fact remains that sometimes things get serious, and even the healthiest pets need medical attention from time to time. Alex and his wife Kennedy were over the moon when they adopted a lovable dog named Sully. However, when he developed a mystery ailment, they quickly learned just how challenging and surprising pet ownership can be. Just after Utah-based Kennedy Longhurst and Alex Salisbury were married, they decided it was time to expand their family. So, they adopted an adorable Border Collie mix whom they decided to name Sully. The couple loved their new pup. He's your typical dog. Happy, playful, energetic, cuddly, needy, and really smart. He loves the dog park, going for hikes, chomping on bones, and people. He loves people, wrote Kennedy on Facebook. Kennedy and Alex love the outdoors, and having Sully in their lives made their frequent hikes and camping trips a real delight. Sully was just as excited as they were to get outside and explore. When they weren't outside together, the little family loved nothing more than to snuggle together at home. Kennedy and Alex loved their dog so much that, even when they had to leave the house, they tried to make it for no more than three hours at a time. In November 2017, Kennedy went home to check on Sully. Alex was working all day, but as a teacher, Kennedy could use her lunch break to drive back to the house and visit with the lonely pooch. She opened the door to find a very eager Sully. The two enjoyed their lunch together, followed by some cuddles. And then Kennedy got ready to head back to work. That's when Sully started making a very unusual noise. He started doing this really scary cough, clearing of throat, choking noise. And it really freaked me out, said Kennedy, as she recalled the sudden change in her beloved Sully. She looked down Sully's throat to make sure the dog wasn't choking on anything, and then she tried to perform CPR just to cover all her bases. However, everything seemed totally fine, and there was no visible explanation for the dog's condition. He was wagging his tail and running around and just wanted to play, but also kept making this horrific noise, said Kennedy. She was baffled. Other than the unsettling sound, he seemed his usual happy-go-lucky self. Kennedy didn't want to leave Sully alone, so she called Alex, who left work so he could keep an eye on the dog. However, once Alex arrived home, the dog's strange cough seemed to have totally disappeared. We figured he must have just gotten something stuck in his throat and finally got it out, said Kennedy. She and Alex had no idea that the strange problem their dog suffered that day was only just beginning. The next morning, Sully started making the strange coughing sound again. The bewildered couple decided that Alex would work from home to keep an eye on the dog. They also scheduled an appointment with their veterinarian in the hopes of solving the mystery. Once Sully was seen by his veterinarian, things only got more confusing. At first, they suspected he might have developed kennel cough from spending time in the dog park, but all of his test results indicated that he was a very healthy dog. Sully's veterinarian was just as baffled by his condition as his owners were. While they couldn't find anything wrong with him, Sully was sent home with an antibiotic just in case he was battling an infection. Alex and Kennedy weren't content with his diagnosis, so they decided to consult another veterinarian. What they heard was pretty shocking and hard to believe. The veterinarian thought Sully was faking the terrible coughing sound to get more attention. In disbelief, they consulted even more vets, but they all agreed that Sully was faking it. Almost all of them said he could be acting sick in the mornings or when we leave him because he knows if he's acting differently, we'll pay more attention to him and stay. The more Kennedy and Alex thought about it, the more they began to agree. I'm actually not surprised at all that he could pull this off, said Kennedy. He's been an insanely smart dog since we got him when he was a puppy. After being forced to visit so many different veterinarians, Sully's cough seemed to magically disappear once and for all. His owners think he was tired of having to be poked and prodded, and they couldn't help but laugh at how their dog's plan backfired. I think this has only made us appreciate Sully more, said Kennedy. It reminded us of all those times when we were kids and fake sick so we could stay home, but in this case, he wanted us to stay home. This makes you wonder how many other fake illnesses dogs have had in the past, or maybe they're just getting back at us for blaming them for eating our homework all those years. Sully is one smart and totally hilarious pup. Can you believe he managed to pull this one off of his owners? Share this sick dog's silly story with your friends below.